everybody, it's Gatsby Girl. Um, I haven't made a video like this ever, but I'm so excited um, because my Adam cosplay just came in the mail from Cosmin Lace. That's Adam from Nier Automata. Cosmin Lace didn't sponsor this video, but I wanted to make a video review anyway just because I thought it would be a good experience. And it also looks like I'm one of the first people to actually get an Adam costume from Cosmin Lace. And I wanted to make sure that like anybody else on the internet who's considering getting one has an opinion of the ones out there. I got this off of CosmoLace.com. There's gonna be a link in the description to the website and to the page where I got this costume. Um, I got this costume with custom measurements, meaning that I got to have it basically um, tailor-made to fit me. It is also important to note that um, I am female and I identify as a girl, so I have boobs and when I cosplay male characters, I will bind my chest. So when I ordered Adam, I made sure to take that into account when I did my measurements. So I put on my chest binder and measured my chest according to that. If you're a woman and you have breasts and you're not going to bind, then please keep that in mind. I'm gonna go through the pieces that I have, go through like a quality kind of check, and I'm gonna try the whole thing on and show you guys. I'm so excited. The price that I got for this costume was fantastic. This is actually the first time that I've ever bought an entire cosplay. Normally I buy pieces of costumes, like when I did Ymir, I bought most of that, but I didn't buy the entire set in one place. Generally when I'm making a costume, I'll go to thrift stores and Frankenstein pieces from that, or make pieces by myself. Depends what I'm doing, but with Adam, I really wanted to try ordering him. The price on the website was actually marked down by a huge margin. I think it was marked down from 114, which is already a pretty great price for a full costume. And then I actually managed to snag Adam during Cosmin Lace's Thanksgiving sale and got extra off of it. Um, in total, it was about it was, in total, it was in the 80s, and then plus shipping, the entire thing was about $97, which is fantastic. It's really, really difficult to get a deal like that, especially for a costume that's custom made to fit you. And the custom measurements didn't cost extra, which is fantastic. I don't know if I've ever heard of any other costume manufacturer that doesn't charge extra for custom measurements, and that was really amazing. So, now I'm gonna take a look at what I got. This is his shirt. Really basic. Um, basic button down this is great if you notice it does it has no darts in it because um, I will be binding oh man the cuffs look beautiful this is what they look like up close I was really nervous about the cuffs because cuffs on shirts tend to be difficult they'll fray or they'll not be the right length or the buttons are really really finicky these are gorgeous oh wow Ooh, oh this is really nice there's not even another, there's not even a seam. Look at that, totally clean. You don't even see where the buttons are sewn on. That is gorgeous. And then this is what it looks like from the back. It's got some, it's basically, you know, nice basic button down. This looks really nice. Well, I can't, I can't get over these cuffs. Oh my God. This is the reason why I decided to buy Adam instead of make him from thrift stores, the pants. I don't know if you can see this pattern but it's impossible to find a pair of pants this pattern at a thrift store or even at a store in general. And I just didn't really feel like going through all the effort to make the stenciling and make the pattern like I did for cosplays like Gladio. Doing the pattern alone for that took about five days. They're actually really lightweight, which is nice. Um, I wasn't expecting them. Got a zipper. There's a little bit of fray. There's a little bit of fraying by the belt loops and by this top hem here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, and there's and there's also a little bit of um, bunching in the back by this crotch. Generally, I would be a little bit more upset about this, but all of this is really easy fixes, at least for me. I can just like take a hot glue gun to these and make them fix. But the pants are a little bit. I'm a little bit less impressed by the pants as I was by the shirt. This is his tie. It's just like a really basic 
tie. He actually just ties it in a bow around his neck. It's a really nice weight. On the website, it actually really just looked like a little ribbon around his neck. This is much thicker than I thought. The color's nice. It's got a really nice texture. It's also sitting flat, which is impossible. I don't know if anybody has ever tried to sew ties or sashes, but getting them to sit entirely flat without any sort of bunching from the seam is almost impossible. This also feels really nice. I keep like running my hands over it. Oh, it's nice. It's really silky. <laughs> it also matches the pants gorgeously. I don't know if you, like this color is almost exactly the same. That's beautiful. This is his belt. It's nice it came wrapped up like this. Um, let's see what material it's... Ooh! Nice! It looks like this. Obviously it's going to be adjusted when I'm wearing it, but this looks like bias tape and some fabric, maybe like interfacing and vinyl it looks like. And then this is attached with Velcro, which is nice. This detailing is a little bit... It's kind of coming loose a little bit at the edges, but again, that's a really easy fix unless you're a stickler for details. These belt buckles are also a little bit haphazardly done. If you can see, the seams there are really uneven, and they actually bird's nest in the back. Um, bird's nesting is when it coils like that and looks like a bird's nest. And then the same goes for this one. It's not quite as bad, but it can... I can actually see where the stitching ends, but I, really, I like this material. It also matches the pants, and I do like the fact that it's Velcro. But let's see, we'll see what it looks like when I try it on. These are his gloves and his wrist pieces. Oh! Oh! If anybody's played Nier Automata, Adam has these sort of armor type pieces on his right hand. And it looks like they actually made the glove on his right hand have red fingers. So that's kind of interesting. I really like this material. It doesn't feel quite as fake as some pleather does. Generally, fake leather is feels really plasticky and thin and doesn't breathe very well. This feels almost exactly like real leather. This These seams look beautiful. It's a little bit difficult to see them, but if you look in the light, you can see these seams by the hand and those look gorgeous. He also has these openings. These openings aren't hemmed, which might cause a little bit of difficulty. I might go back and hem these but the fabric doesn't look like it's fraying all that much and it looks like it's a good enough quality fake leather that it won't fray if I don't do anything to it. And then this is what the left glove looks like. This one seems like it's gonna fit the same. Yep, fits almost the same. This thumb is actually pretty small. I don't know how exactly I can fix that. I thought that I gave them my hand measurements and that they would be the same all around, but it's, I don't know if you can see, my thumb is down here and the seam is up here. These are these, he has these little things that he wears around his wrists, so I'm going to take a look at these. They came in this nice little bag. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. They're more solid than I thought they would be. I was worried that they were just, that these were just going to be like cardboard. I don't know what this material is. It feels like some sort of plastic, but it, it feels nice and sturdy. I feel like that I'll actually be able to wear these. He just wears them around his wrists like this. This also has some nice stretch for people who might have difficulty with their wrists. It's a little bit loose, but I don't really mind because this is a super duper easy fix. It's just tied right here. It's a little bit, it's not quite as neat as it could be, but I think that this was actually probably purposeful to give the buyer some way to fix it and to make it fit their wrists easier. Same thing with this one. I'm impressed with these. These are, these seem a lot more durable than I thought they would be. I was worried that I would have to make these myself, but it turns out that I won't have to. Oh, oh my God. They have his knuckle pieces. Again, I was, Adam has more armor on his, right hand, just his right hand, he's so extra. But I was worried that I would have to make those. But look at it! They came with the costume! I might have to reshape them because they're rounder than his costume in the game, but I'm gonna try them on with the glove and see how they work. I am pleasantly surprised. 
look like this up close. These are really solid and really stiff, but they also aren't stiff enough that I can't move my hands. I don't know exactly what material this is. It looks like it's just layered synthetic leather, but I can bend my fingers, I can move them, and they look really nice. And then there's, oh my god. It comes with his glasses! I wasn't expecting that. I, I thought he didn't come with his glasses. I don't know why. I, 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 didn't, I didn't see them in the... Oh my god! I was actually looking for new glasses because the ones that I got, they look like this. They're just nice and gift wrapped to keep them safe. They have his glasses! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, these are perfect. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh! Look at these! <gasps> they're shiny, they're the right shape. The glasses that I had were a little bit too square. Actually, I'll get them. These are the original glasses I was planning on using for Adam. They're literally just a pair of glasses that I got at a convenience store and I popped the lenses out and painted them black. They're a little bit too square for my taste. I also think that they're just a little bit too large. Adam's glasses are a little bit different, but look at these babies. <gasps> They have lenses! Oh, okay, let's try them on. Oh my gosh! I love them. It's probably really difficult to tell the difference, but when you go from just a cheap pair of drugstore glasses that have been hand-painted with acrylic paint to a pair like this, that's actually the right color and the right shape, and they actually fit really well and they have lenses, it makes a world of difference. So, now, I'm gonna go try Adam on to see how everything feels. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm currently wearing the entire costume I got from Cosmo and Lace, except the glasses, because I couldn't completely see my camera with the glasses on. The color was a little bit distorted, but the fit is fantastic. I am so glad that almost everything fits. The shirt feels wonderful. I'm still not over how beautiful these look, but the shirt fit is lovely. It fits with my chest being bound. The fit in the back is really nice. It's also, the sleeve length is perfect. It's really difficult to get three quarter sleeves, but Adam has those. Um, I can move my arms this way. I can move them up one at a time. If I move them up at the same time, it gets a little bit tight in here, but when you're at a convention, you're probably not going to be doing this a whole lot, so I'm not too worried about that. This bow falls really nicely, and it's so much bigger than I thought it would be, which is fantastic. I thought it was just going to be like a teeny tiny little ribbon and that I would have to make one myself, but it's not. The pants are also a really pleasant surprise. I can completely move my legs in them. The belt is a teeny tiny bit large because this Velcro panel stops here. It doesn't keep going. So if I need to make it any tighter, then I just can't. But it's when I put this on, it's about as tight as it can be. It is nice though because Adam does wear this belt at an angle. And when you wear a belt in an angle, it is going to need to fit larger because it's going to be on your hip, which is going to be larger than your waist. There are a couple of nitpicks I have. The biggest one being this glove. It just doesn't fit right. It doesn't sit right on my thumb, and it's just not right. It's just not the right size. Um, I would also prefer if some of the seams were not fraying and they weren't birds nesting, but also, I completely understand why they were. This shirt is fantastic. The pants fit surprisingly well, and I'm really glad they have pockets because I'm gonna need them. I always need pockets when I'm at cons, and I'm very pleasantly surprised by this bow. But the best surprise to come out of this entire purchase was the glasses! I was always, I was saying to myself, I I don't want to get a new pair of glasses, but I really don't like the ones that I have. And no, I don't have to get a new pair because I have these beautiful ones to bring to OhioCon with me. So let's, I think I would give this purchase maybe a 7 out of 10. The price was really affordable, 
the quality is nice in most places, the fit is great, and it's really amazing that they offer custom measurements without an additional add-on for price. Overall, I'm incredibly satisfied with this purchase, and I hope that maybe I can purchase from Cosmo Lace again in the future. I can try, like, another video game character or an anime character for, like, a school uniform that I might need. I would really like to thank Cosmo Lace for such a beautiful costume that fits me so well. So, thank you so much for watching. The link to the website where I got this cosplay and the link to the cosplay itself are in the description below. Um, if you're planning to cosplay Adam from Nier Automata, Cosmo and Lace is a great place to go. Please subscribe if you're interested in my content and would like to see more of what I do. The next time you see this costume will be at OhioCon in January with Small Shinya. I'll be, I will be wearing it on Friday, January 11th, and it will be part of a CMV that I'm hoping to plan. So this is not the last of Adam. Um, and this is not the last of this costume, so I'm really glad that I'm comfortable wearing it. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I love you all very much. <laughs>